Let us join together in prayer. Beloved in Christ, as we await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem the waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will bring all peoples and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. But first, let us pray for the world that God so loves, for those who have not heard the good news of God or who do not believe it, for those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and all fear, and may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to God in the words that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Please be seated. A reading from Luke, the first chapter, the 57th through the 66th verses, the birth of John the Baptist. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, no, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, his name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed and he began to speak praising God Fear came over all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, what then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Luke, the first chapter, the 39th through the 45th verses. Mary visits Elizabeth. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me? that the mother of my Lord comes to me. For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. This is the word of God.
Beloved Creator, by your grace, the Virgin Mother of your incarnate Son was blessed in bearing him, but still more blessed in keeping your word. Grant us to honor the exaltation of her loneliness, to follow the example of her devotion to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Luke, the second chapter, the 22nd through the 28th verses. Jesus is presented in the temple. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. This is the word of God.
219, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs>
Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the same Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Let me invite you to be seated for a moment. I'd like to thank you all for coming out and wish you a joyous Advent and Christmas season. I'd like to thank those in particular who participated in today's service. Uh, we enjoy the consistent leadership of pre uh, Professors Mark Stamm and Chris Anderson. Uh, we're grateful for them. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, two of our composers of the music this evening are actually uh, faculty members here at Perkins. Um, we have a brand new librarian next door at Bridwell, and uh, you will see his name at the very beginning, Anthony Aaliyah. Uh, we're delighted with all the many, many gifts that he brings and with his contributions musically to Perkins, uh, as well as through his directorship of the library. Uh, another new faculty member is Marcel Storenagel uh, here in front of me. Marcel had big shoes to fill coming in uh, as the director of the Master of Sacred Music program, uh, which he's done a marvelous job. We, we are already deeply appreciative and respectful of the many, many gifts and the energy and vitality that you bring to us. We thank you for that, Marcel. This is something of his baptism, so <laughs> be, sure, be sure to greet Marcel. Uh, I'd also like to thank the, the seminary singers and the many members of the Meadows School of the Arts. One of the great uh, joys for me and uh, I think for Perkins generally is our increasing partnerships across the university with other schools, not least at all uh, Meadows School of the Arts right next door. We have, uh, I've actually just this week been talking about a number of joint programs uh, with Dean Sam Holland there. Uh, so we're delighted to be partners with you at Meadows, and thank you for being with us today. Uh, would you please rise for a benediction? Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.
Lord, please. 